Welcome back to the channel everybody, I'm Dino. And as you saw in the cold opening, my 2024 trail pass from the Ontario Federation of Snowmobile Clubs has finally arrived. Now that's both a blessing and a bit of a curse because it means I need to get my 2022 sticker off the windshield. Anybody who's ever tried to remove one of these things knows that the adhesive left behind can be pretty challenging to get off. And to make matters worse, I really didn't ride this sled last year and the only time it got out was when I lent it to my best friend or one of my best friends who lives up in Aurelia. And he took it out on a three day pass that he adhered to the windshield with a little bit of packing tape. And packing tape is even worse adhesive. So I need to get this adhesive off and clean up the windshield before I put the new 2024 trail pass on. So how do you go about doing it? Well, there's a bunch of different ways and I'm gonna talk about the one that I found works really good for me to clean that adhesive off. So why don't we talk a little bit about what historically people use to get this stuff off. Most people start by peeling off the sticker here using a heat gun on a low setting and you can even use a hair dryer. All you're trying to do is soften up the old adhesive enough that you can get under there and peel the old sticker or in this case even some packing tape and get it off of the windscreen. Now to assist with this I often use one of these which is a plastic razor blade and yes they do make plastic razor blades for removing gaskets from soft aluminum. Personally I find these work really good. You don't need to have them in a holder like this but they can get underneath the edges of the of the sticker and with the help of uh, a heat gun or in this case just on their own they can lift that uh, sticker up. And for people like me that really don't have fingernails, I unfortunately keep mine really short. These are really useful. Once you do get the sticker or tape, in my case, off the windscreen, you are gonna end up having to deal with leftover adhesive. It's just the way things are. You're gonna wanna avoid using anything like Scotch-Brite or uh, ultra-fine steel wool is that that is going to scratch your windscreen, your Lexan windscreen. Most people use a variety of solvents to get this job done. One of the more common ones would be either uh, this one, which is Goof Off, or there's another one called uh, uh, Goo Off or something like that, but they're all basically the same. And they're designed to remove things like tars and in, of course, adhesives. And I have found in the past this works pretty good. You can hear this can is almost empty. Others will use isopropic alcohol to try and dissolve that adhesive. And I haven't had the best of luck with this, but it is a readily available and easy to use solvent. And then there are those, and I've done this one myself, that will use WD-40. And WD-40 is a great solvent for a lot of things. People think it's mostly a lubricant, but in my experience, it tends to wash grease out of uh, bearings and dissolve things like adhesives pretty well. You're gonna wanna use these and sort of rub them with a towel, a soft towel to try and get that adhesive off, and it takes a long time. But recently, I sort of rediscovered a product that my father introduced me to 30 years ago. And I found that it works really, really good for removing these adhesives. I wanna show you what that is. That product is this product, Original Never Dull Metal Polish. My father introduced me to this 
probably 30 years ago or 35 years ago, he used it all the time to polish the chrome on all of his old cars, all the door handles and bumpers, and he used it to clean mirrors and glass as well. What this stuff is, when you open it up, is a, a cotton wadding, a soft cotton wadding that's penetrated with some kind of metal polish. Now, it is a very, very soft abrasive in this. Very, very soft. It will not scratch the plastic. But as you can see on this piece of aluminum here, you can take a piece of metal from raw aluminum to something that's fairly shiny and reflective in just a few minutes with this stuff. You basically just rub it on and then use a soft cloth to remove all of the leftover residue, whatever it is. But what I found is it does a really good job at removing adhesive from the windshield on my snowmobile. So let me show you. I've used this plastic razor blade to take the aluminum foil off of the sticker and also come through and start working away on the packing tape that's still on here. There's a couple little pieces. This is always the challenging part to get off. But even that thick, that never dull will work its way through and I want to show you that. Now it takes a bit of time and a little bit of effort, but I find it does a really good job. But let's take a close up of this. So this is, I don't know if you can hear that or not. This is very, very sticky. I'm just going to use a small piece of this wadding here and start rubbing it onto this. And you'll see right away, it's cutting through that adhesive. So I just keep rotating this wadding a little bit and working my way through. This is in real time here. You're going to see it's there's no stickiness left here at all. It's cut right through it in a matter of seconds. Now I'm putting mild pressure down, but not tremendous pressure here. So I'm gonna work this little area like that, and then I'll just use a rag here to polish and remove and pick up all of that residue and you can see it's done a really good job now there's still some of that solvent here i'll come back and i'll clean all of this off just with soap and water afterwards but you can see there's no scratches at all on this none that you can see anyway i like it it seems to work really good This is just a little bit of soapy water that I'm going to use to rinse off the residue. That is that. That is what it's all about. Getting that new 2024 sticker on my windscreen. That never dull did a great job of removing all the adhesive from the old sticker and that packing tape that was on this Lexan windscreen. But I do know that there are other products out there that you might use that work equally as well or maybe better. So please leave those down in the comments below so other people can benefit from your experience. This left absolutely zero scratches in the windscreen. I'm really happy with it. And any swirl marks that you do see were there for me cleaning the sled over the last four or five years that I've owned this. 
Now, I don't care what you do, if you go out uh, snowshoeing or skiing or like me, snowmobiling, I just hope that you enjoy the winter as much as I do. And I hope you get out there soon to enjoy that snow. Until then, I'm gonna get back to work and do a couple other projects on this sled as I prepare for the upcoming season. But I do hope to see you soon here on Dino's Tinker Shed. You tinker easy. Bye for now.